This video is a highlight of our favorite Gibson Les Paul recommendation, based on a convergence of quality and price. We'll also cover a few honorable mentions. Please consider liking and subscribing since it really helps the channel and expands our reach. Thank you. With a guitar series like the Gibson Les Paul, the best option is not necessarily the most expensive. Instead, we're looking for a balance of quality and an affordable price tag. This leads us to the Gibson Les Paul Studio, which strikes a great balance between quality and affordability. When it comes to Gibson Les Paul Electrics, we're looking for something that is reasonably affordable, but also maintains the feel, tone, quality, and aesthetic that Les Pauls are known for. The Les Paul Studio strikes the best balance between overall quality and an affordable price tag. While there are a few variations of the Les Paul Studio, we'll focus on the mahogany version. We like the smokehouse burst finish, but there are quite a few to choose from. Some notable features include the following. Number one. A separate top piece over solid body design, all with modern weight relief. Number two, mahogany maple tone wood. Body is mahogany, top is maple. Number three, a Nashville Tunomatic bridge and Grover tuners. And finally, a set of 490R and 490T humbuckers. We'd love to see the Gibson Burst Bucker pickups instead of the 490s. The 490s are solid, but the Burst Bucker sets are in a lot of the nicer Les Paul models. To be fair, I just prefer them, while other players might prefer the 490s. Also note that the finish and carving aren't quite as pristine as in the nicer models, but it still looks great. These are small complaints, but they also go a long way in keeping the price of the studio so low. Otherwise, everything that makes a Gibson Les Paul an attractive option is intact in the studio. Since we're only highlighting one Les Paul, this section includes some of our honorable mentions that we'd also confidently recommend. First, the Gibson Les Paul Standard 50s. Second, the Gibson Les Paul Classic. Third, the Gibson Les Paul Modern. And last, the Gibson Les Paul Adam Jones. There are a lot of decent Gibson Les Pauls in the $2,000 to $3,000 price range, but we think the studio stands out as the best overall value. It's the most flexible and gives you a true Gibson Les Paul experience at the lowest possible price. For those with questions or thoughts about the Gibson Les Paul Studio, or if you disagree, drop a line into the comments section below.